Today, we're gonna take a look at if, else, and then. All right, so one of the most usable features of Angular 4 is the fact that now, aside from just being able to do if statements, we can also specify if else and also if then. And what this allows you to do is to bind these two templates in your HTML. And it makes life a lot easier and more organized in your views. All right, so we're going to install Angular 4. Now, at the time of recording this, official Angular 4 has not been released. So we're going to do a little bit of like upgrading with the Angular command line interface. But in the future, it's going to be much simpler. And I mentioned all of this in this entire tutorial's outline in written format. And you can access that tutorial below here in the YouTube description. All right, so make sure you check out Corsetro.com for more Angular related content and courses and tutorials and also subscribe here on YouTube. Let's get started. All right, so let's start a new project with the Angular CLI or command line interface. If you don't yet have that installed, just go to cli.angular.io. It'll show you what you need to run in your console in order to install it. And of course you need NPM and Node.js and all that stuff, but I'm not gonna cover that here. All right, so we're just gonna run in our projects folder, ng, new and we'll just call this if else hyphen proj for project so this is going to take a few minutes so i'm just going to go ahead and pause and we'll come back when it's done all right it's done let's go ahead and cd into that directory so cd if else proj all right great so now let's go ahead and open up the code editor all right, and here is the project folder. I'm gonna click on package.json right here and real quickly just check out the version. Everything's at 2.3, which is Angular 2.3. So what that means is based on the fact that it's March 12th right now, uh, Angular 4 hasn't officially released. So we have to install or upgrade it manually in the console. Now, if yours says 4.0 plus, just skip over this next part. Uh, if it doesn't, and it's still at two and not four, let's go back to the console. And actually not the console, we wanna to go to the written tutorial for this uh, this video here, which is, which is basically what I'm following along. You can find it here in the description of YouTube. Click on the link, scroll down just a bit, and you'll see if you're a Mac user, then copy and paste all this. Otherwise, if you are a Windows user, just copy and paste this entire line right here all the way to the end. So I'm going to do that because I'm on Windows. Right click, paste, hit enter, and I'm going to pause. And it has finished. And also TypeScript has to be updated. And I'll right click there, hit enter. All right, and once that is finished, we can now run ng serve and if i switch back real quick to the uh, editor we can see now this is updated to 4.0 release candidate three i think there's going to be one more and uh now we can open up the browser real quick we'll go to localhost oops not ionic sorry about that 4200 and we'll see the app works great all right, so back in our editor, I'm gonna to go to source, app, and app.component.ts. So just uh, real quickly, I'm gonna make things just a little bit larger here so you can see them. I can hit Control-B to get rid of the file view over here. We'll see that by default, the Angular command line interface creates this title property for us, bound to app works. All right, so that's kind of important because we're gonna use that going forward to demonstrate the if else and if then statements here. So going back here, let's go to the app.component.html and I'm gonna go ahead and delete all this stuff. And let's just write out a simple div here. I could probably make this a little bit larger now. So div and we're gonna use ng if equals and right here, this is just going to demonstrate a very simple if else statement. So you could always do if statements, of course, in Angular, but now we can do else, so in Angular 4. So we'll type in if, all right, and then we'll reference the property, which is the name of title, else login. 
So we're gonna assume that the title property is checking a user's logged in state, whether they're logged in or not. So if title is true or if it's defined, then it's gonna show whatever's inside of this div. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. The user is logged in and then close the div. And then, well, what is login exactly? Is that another property or what? Well, let's type in ng hyphen template. And then we put the number sign or the hash login. And that's what that is in reference to. So this is defining the name of a template. So this will be, if title is not defined, then please log in to continue or whatever you want. All right, so template and that. And now let's save this and we'll go back. And it shows us that the user is logged in because title is bound to a string called app works exclamation point. All right. All right, so I've split my editor up here uh, with the browser on the right and the editor on the left. Uh, real quickly, you can also say, I uh, put an exclamation point to say, if it doesn't exist, then we'll switch things. So now it should say, please log in to continue if we save it. And there we go. And we can also real quickly use operators. So if title equals app works and we we'll save it, the user is logged in. We can change that up and we can see uh, it obviously doesn't equal that. So now it's gonna say, please log in to continue. All right, so very simple to do if else. I uh, works pretty simply. Um, so let's go ahead and work on an if then statement. So we have, I everything looks the same, except we're gonna add a then, and we'll create a reference to a template called logout. So what this is saying is if title exists, then log out, else log in. So we already have login right here defined. Let's also define a logout real quickly. So we'll name it logout. All right, and I'm going to copy just some quick HTML off screen based on that written tutorial. All right, so let me just move this all into view so you guys can easily see it. All right, so this is just saying, hi Gary, and it's gonna show a button. So let's just save this and we'll see we have this button now, hi Gary, and this button. Okay, so if we just switch this up real quickly, We'll see, it'll show, oh, by the way, it's not gonna show anything here if you're using it then. So we can get rid of this. And we'll see, it works exactly the same. If we change this up to, if not, we'll see it works as well. So this way, the difference here when you're using it then is you can also define a template for the true statement. Okay, so real quickly, let's go ahead and just give it some interaction. We don't necessarily have to. This is pretty much demonstrated this uh, this new if then or else uh, the capabilities of Angular 4, but let's real quickly just add a click event on our button and we'll bind it to a function called log me in. We'll save that real quick. Hit control B to get up our uh, component and we'll change this real quickly. We'll change title here using TypeScript to any equals true and log me in. And we'll change this uh, title to false. So now we can click the button and it should emulate what we want. And it'll toggle before, between back and forth the, uh, the different, what do you call? templates over here that we have for ng template login and log out. And if you wanted to, you could also create another function and then that way you could truly toggle back and forth between, but you get the idea at this point. All right, so hopefully you were able to understand all that's pretty easy and it was a really needed feature within Angular. So now we have it with Angular 4 and going forward, you're, I'm sure you're gonna be using it a ton. All right, so look out for new Angular 4 related content, check out coursecentral.com and of course, subscribe here on YouTube. See you later.